And now, first fight out of the blue corner. This fight stands by the eight, seven inches tall. He weighs in at 150 pounds. He trains with the San Jacinto grappling team out of San Jacinto, California. He's your one. Greg Guzman, 150 pounds with a height of 5'7". He's only 19 years old, fighting out of San Jacinto, grappling. And tonight he makes his MMA debut. Now, he trains with Junior Kling. Now, if you don't know who Junior Kling is, he's the guy who recently possesses a win over Cody Bollinger, which everybody counted him out. Everybody counted Junior Kling out because it was his first fight. Cody Bollinger is just one badass dude. And you know what? He went in there, he won the amateur title, and I'll tell you what, Junior Kling went in there like a pro. I mean, his skills in striking were just crisp. His takedown defense was awesome. His takedowns were awesome as well. So turning with a guy like Junior Kling, we'll see if uh, they've got the same skills that they possess for time. There is reason for fighting just fun, so that's always important too as well. So he's doing what he loves to do. Gunner G Man Hinson. I like that name too, man, with a height of 5'8, 150 pounds. I'll tell you what, this cat man. is young. 15 years old, man. 15, what were you doing at the age of 15? We don't want to know that. <laughs> That's disclosed information, right? <laughs> Anyways, man, Gunnar Henson making his way to the cage. He possesses one win, so he's obviously gotten the first time jitters out. You know, the reason why he fights is for fun. It's what he loves to do. And uh, when his career ends, he wants to uh, be remembered as being the youngest pro in California. Definitely at the age of 15, he's got a good head start here. Definitely start this young. Start this young is always always a great advantage. I mean, if you can uh, uh, stop from getting burned out, that's a wealth of experience. I first started when I was 26 years old, so you know, these people have a, uh, especially getting up now, you know, when you go to camp, they're a lot more well-rounded than uh, just individual camps that you go to. So you know, you're learning the, the whole complete sport at a very, very young age. 10 years into the game, you're a true professional. And you're only gonna be 20, 25 years old. He possesses a win over Chris Coley, and uh, it was an impressive one at that, the defeat with an artistic heel hook. I mean, it was just so, it was like art, man, the way that he was able to finish this off. You were able to see the skills of this kid at 15 years old, man. He's, he's kind of got his game together here right now. He trains with a great camp. Got a great camp that's full of uh, nothing but wealth and knowledge. And, you know, if you're up there and you're, uh, you're going there to learn, you're gonna, you're gonna pick up some stuff, and apparently that he, that's what he's doing. I'll tell you what, Thomas Denny, not only was his gym already big, but then he moves into another place, and it's just like no limits. You guys are like in a Costco of mixed martial arts. I mean, your building is huge. There's so much stuff to train with. Some great knees there. Gunnar Henson obviously sporting a dude just like Thomas the Wild Man Denny. All in the footsteps in the hair department. You can see where the where the experience comes from. He's just taking his time. And not fighting like a 15-year-old. Great, excellent kick. Oh, a spin kick from Greg Guzman. You know, those don't work too well sometimes, but when they do land, they do some heavy, oh, heavy when damage. They land, they, they, uh, <laughs> they do some heavy damage sometimes. <laughs> it's, worth, it's worth the chance. Absolutely. Some great big rights from uh, Guzman. Guzman in the black trunks, Gunnar Henson. He's just stalking him right. down, taking his time. And they're 15 years old. I mean, he is, he's doing excellent. Guzman is the, the more active fighter as of right now. And we see Gunnar putting on uh, putting on a little bit of offense, stopping over the three, putting it all together. Trying to use his shoulders there. Taking his time. That's where the experience comes in into part. I'll tell you what, from behind there, he looks like Thomas the Wild Man Denny. He's got that same style going. He's, a, he's I mean? a little Denny. Little Denny, man. Receiving some excellent instructions from his from, from the corner. Thomas Denny's in. I'll tell you what, Thomas Denny is producing some young guys that are coming out of that camp. Definitely, he's staying active in his gym. We saw his last fight, and one of his fighters, Brian Baker, Brian the Beast Baker, who 
who completely almost lost the fight in the beginning, got knocked out, but just came back and completely took out Reggie Orr. That's one thing about uh, uh, Brian Baker. He, uh, he'll, he'll keep coming. He'll keep coming at you <laughs> until you, have, you really have to lay him out. He's, uh, he's great. You need a shovel to lay that guy out, man. But that whole camp, you can, you can tell uh, that, uh, you know, Thomas is putting in some good work. He's, he's, he's producing some great fighters. These fighters don't even look like they're, like they're, they're experienced. This 15-year-old kid is coming out here, and I'm very impressed. We haven't seen too much offense from him, but he's staying extremely uh, relaxed and filling him out, filling out the fight. Doing an excellent job at that. But Greg Guzman is, is staying busy, giving us some offense. Oh, he suffers a big right, but able to continue to impress the action here. He was waking him up a little bit. Oh, he just opened his eye. A huge cut. Hopefully this doesn't get stopped because that is open right now. I really truly believe Gunnar Henson really needs to start getting busy here. You can immediately see that that wound just completely open it's after a, that right. It's a good cut. It's, it's hopefully a gunner can work some offense here and we don't stop the fight over a cut. It's a, it's a pretty bad cut. But it did wake him up. And you can see Gunnar Henson taking his time. They're going to check the eye. He's a, oh, that's a nasty little cut. Oh, that's... We're gonna let this continue. We're gonna just wipe them off a little bit. You can hear the corner of Greg Guzman continue to aim for the eye, trying to hope for a doctor stoppage here. And to Greg Guzman's credit, he does an excellent job on opening Gunnar Henson up that quick. Greg Guzman stayed busy. He's been producing a lot of offense. He's creating his own opportunities. There he is taking a look at the cut. But I think Gunnar Hinton, I don't think this is really going to affect him too much. He's, he's staying extremely poised, and he uh, he's aware of the danger of that cut, and I think he's going to do uh, whatever he can to protect it. Gunnar Hinton looking to continue to pass the guard here as he works from the half guard of Greg Guzman. Greg Guzman will hold on and try and Work from the rubber guard here, it seems. seems. Now in a situation like this, even when the cut, you know, the doctors haven't stopped it yet, you want to continue to press the action because that cut could just continue to open up as the fight goes on. Oh, definitely. You don't want to uh, let your opponent uh because that, that, that's, that's another uh, form of, uh, of him getting extremely excited. He, he knows he's cut, he's knows, he knows he's hurt, and uh, he has something that he can work, he can go and work the cut. So if they stand up, you know he's gonna be gunning for that cut. And uh, Gunner's keeping him here, uh, staying uh, extremely offensive, working the submission right now. He's got him in an arm bar. Excellent. This kid is awesome. Wow. This, to, <laughs> this kid is awesome. Oh, man. Straight out of Thomas the Wild Man, Denny's Gamp. Gunnar Henson, submission victory. I, I have to say I'm impressed. He, he stayed poised throughout the whole entire match for a 15-year-old kid. Uh, he, he, he did excellent. Yeah, exhibited some trouble in there with, with, with getting a cut. Stayed poised, stayed relaxed. Worked the submission, got the arm bar. But to Greg Guzman's credit, I mean, he gave Gunnar Henson a run for his money. He, gave, here Greg, he came out and he, he came out to fight. He came out to fight. Greg Guzman came out to fight. He put on a great show. Just got capitalized. This is the one thing about MMA. Any position, you know, could be your last position. And uh, I think he uh, seen that cut and was uh, more excited about getting him up and, and uh, trying to work more of that cut. I think Gunner, Gunner knew he was in a little bit of trouble, so he just worked on that submission and worked it. So this kid's got a bright future staying with the great camp. He's got a great teacher. I see nothing but good things for him. G-Man Henson improves his mixed martial arts record to 2-0 and here tonight at King of the Cage. Point of no return brought to you by Rockstar Energy Drinks.